up on our website, fox6now.com. Other news now. Many of you remember the video. A man tasered by Kenosha police uh, falling like a tree. Four independent reviews cleared the officer of any wrongdoing, but now new evidence is questioning some to question just how independent those reviews really were. Our A.J. Bayapur has the latest from Kenosha. There is misconduct trying to hide what he's doing. In front of a small crowd, Michael Bell and Ira Robbins make big accusations before the Kenosha Fire and Police Commission. They've submitted a report to the FBI asking the feds to investigate the Kenosha Police Department. The latest allegation revolves around an incident last July when an officer responding to a fight tased a man less than 15 seconds after he got out of the squad car. Bell and Robbins questioned the four independent reviews that cleared the officer. And we found that the chief had tampered with the, the experts, claimed they were independent, but helped write their decisions. Robbins is referring to a December email where Police Chief John Morrissey asked one of the reviewers, Chuck Joyner, to add a pair of sentences to his report. One of them being that Morrissey did not provide his opinion of the incident. They also point to a November email where Morrissey told Joyner he would not be using his work email due to open records requests. The cover up by the chief police is exactly what occurred with my own son's case. Bell's son was killed by Kenosha police in 2004. That case is currently being reviewed by federal officials. And Morrissey declined to do an interview Tuesday. In February, he said this about the tasing incident. I'm not going to do any more investigation into this. I Factually put out there what I have, and people have to make their own decisions. Tuesday, he said the never ending stream of requests from Bell and Robbins amounts to harassment. I'll keep harassing him until he tells the truth and his department becomes honest. I'd like to see him harassed all the way to jail. AJ Bayapur, Fox 6 News. Pardon the pun here, but catastrophe avoided. That's how one shelter sums up a potential attack on a Racine cat. Jeremy Ross has more on who stopped the possible abuse.